Hi, this is Darren Marlia, CTO and founder of SDM Software. And today I'm uh, going to talk to you about using our GPO exporter product to clean up group policy in your environment. These days we get a lot of customers coming to us and um, asking us to help them with their group policy environment. Everything from cleaning it up to optimizing it, migrating, consolidating GPOs. And you know, this, the challenges that we see are very similar across many different customers. So group policy has grown up over time. There's a lot of GPOs out there. You don't know what you have. There's been many hands in the pie, so to speak, in terms of administrators managing GPOs, each with their own way of doing things. Um, you don't know where to start to clean up. So you might have a, a lot of GPOs and you don't even know what you don't know with respect to uh, where group policy is being used in your environment. And you may even be experiencing desktop performance issues as a result of group policy. We've seen lots of environments where uh, best practices weren't followed along the way, and there's a lot of time being spent during the policy processing cycle that's unnecessary. So how can we help? Well, there's a couple of things that we can do. Uh, the GPO reporting pack is uh, our product bundling composed of GPO exporter and GPO compare. And they are really designed to provide the insight into your group policy environment, either on an ongoing fashion to kind of keep you in the know in terms of what's happening or during the a part of one of these consolidation or cleanup efforts related to group policy. And they really do kind of simplify or save time when it comes to trying to analyze, you know, potentially hundreds or even thousands of GPOs in your environment. It's simply impossible to do that using the in-the-box tools in any reasonable manner in any reasonable amount of time. So these, these tools are really designed to kind of streamline that process and, and give you the, the power of analyzing your group policy environment that's not possible with in-the-box tools. Exporter in particular lets you do a number of things. You can search for settings within your environment. You can analyze settings based on either the policy area that you're interested in or where GPOs are linked. Uh, there's a number of canned reports that come with the product, including things like unlinked GPOs, empty GPOs, possible conflicting settings or duplicate settings. And it also has a set of reports that let you see where your group policy design decisions might be slowing down your desktops. So things like scripts or WMI filters or expensive item level targeting in your GP preferences can all be exposed through the reports that we provide in the product. So without further ado, I'm gonna dive into a demo of the GPO exporter that shows these scenarios and how the product can be used to help streamline and optimize your group policy environment. Okay, now I'm gonna dive into the GPO exporter demo. So this is the GPO exporter 2.0 version that's currently available. And let's start off by uh, showing you how to do a simple export. Um, what you see on your screen behind me is a set of settings that I've just exported. Let me, let me go ahead and show you what I've done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use previously exported GPOs. And what I did is select all of the GPOs in my domain. I have some 200 plus GPOs in here. And I selected, I can, I can export based on the policy area I'm interested in. So I selected per computer administrative templates policy just to illustrate how this works. So I've essentially uh, exported all of the admin template settings within my domain, some 300 GPOs, 5,078 settings. And now what I can do is just to kind of show you the, the search capability is I can filter on a particular search term. Let's say I'm looking for a policy like always wait for the network at computer startup and user logon. I can go ahead and filter on that and quickly find out which GPOs in my domain implement that policy and what their setting values are. In other words, what the policy is set to. And you can see here, I have a number of GPOs that have implemented this setting. Some of them are enabled and some of them are disabled. So that gives you kind of a quick way of uh, basically indexing the GP settings across your entire domain and being able to find settings um, very quickly and easily. If you just want to know where a particular setting has been implemented, this makes it really easy to do. And I can save these so-called snapshots of the export that I just created and bring them up at a later time if I want to see what settings were set at a particular time. So it's easy for me to get back to a moment in time where my group policy objects used to exist. 
Now, what I want to do is show you a really powerful way of exporting settings related to this notion of GPO cleanup. I'm going to go ahead and click some options in here. So I've got my domain selected. I'm going to click to include metadata. This is things like GPO links, permissions, etc. And I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And instead of having a flat list of all my 275 GPOs, I want to look at it based on how the GPOs are linked. So now what I'm doing is viewing my Active Directory structure and the OUs underneath it. And if I expand a particular OU or set of OUs, I can see a number of different group policy objects. So let's say I wanted to do some analysis of the workstations in the Engineering Workstations OU. I'm going to go ahead and select all the GPOs that are in line with that Engineering Workstations OU, including my default domain policy up the domain level. And I'm going to select all policy areas. And you'll see I've created this export of all these GPOs. Now, that's interesting in and of itself. I've got lots of settings that I can look through. I could sort this list and search through it and see what's going on in this particular OU structure. But what's more interesting is I want to go ahead and do some reporting against it. And that brings me to the report portal, which is where we have a number of canned reports that let me report on the data that I've collected or against my whole domain. In this case, I'm going to report on this current export data that I've collected. And I'm going to go into the GPO analysis and optimization reports and run a conflicting settings report against these GPOs. And what this is doing is it's analyzing those GPOs that are part of that engineering workstations OU and returning potential conflicts. As you can see here, I've got in this first example, the renamed guest account policy is being set to two different values linked at two different places in that hierarchy. So I've been quickly able to see those differences and possible conflicts that I may need to resolve. Uh, in the second instance, I've got a GP preferences drive mapping that's um, actually mapping to two different shares at two different levels of the hierarchy. And most interestingly, I've got password policy being set both in this engineering security GPO and at the default domain policy level at different minimum password lengths. So this might be something that I'm really interested in understanding. And finally, I've got this force log on, force log off when log on hours expire setting that's again conflicting between this engineering settings OU or engineering security OU and the default domain policy. So this report was able to sift through, you know, 5,000 settings or whatever I had in that list and basically quickly and easily um, get to where there might be some conflicts that I can deal with. And the same holds true for the duplicate settings report. I could report on duplicate settings uh, that I might be able to clean up between those uh, OUs that I just uh, reported on. Another report that's interesting is the unlinked GPOs report. This will actually bring up the report that shows me where there might be unlinked GPOs within my environment. In this case, because I'm selecting the current data, I don't have any, but if I go ahead and unclick that, it will then run this report against the whole domain and quickly return that I have actually quite a few GPOs that are unlinked. Some of the other more interesting reports that we have, there's this slow boot, slow log on report section. This is what I refer to in my PowerPoint presentation where we have these are behaviors that you can do or design decisions you can make in your group policy environment that slow down uh, group policy processing and can cause desktop slowdown. So things like WMI filters and scripts, um, GP preferences, expensive item level targeting, loopback merge mode, synchronous and asynchronous extensions. All these different reports are actually uh, described in a white paper that we have up on our website. If you go to the GPO exporter product page, you'll see a link to the download for this white paper that describes these. Let me just go ahead and run the GPOs with scripts report and you'll see that it makes it really easy to find out where scripts have been implemented across all my GPOs. So I've got 18 GPOs that are implementing scripts and this has kind of gotten me quickly to what those scripts are and whether they're startup or log on scripts. The other thing that the, both the GPO exporter and GPO compare products can do is they can be run from the PowerShell command line. So both products come with PowerShell commandlets that make automating of things like exports or snapshots or reports pretty straightforward and easy. So you can do a lot of this stuff from the command line if you want to automate it. Um, if you don't want to wait for a report to run, if you've got lots and lots of GPOs, 
it makes it really quick and easy to let it run overnight or however long it might take to run and against really large environments we've, we've definitely seen you know where it can take a while to run a report so this gives you that ability to kind of run it um, at off peak times there's a lot of flexibility in the product for helping you kind of get to where your group policy issues might be and just being able to discover your environment more quickly and more easily than you can with native tools is a really powerful feature and uh, we think that uh, we think that you'll find the group policy exporter and group policy compare tools a key part of your arsenal for cleaning up your group policy environment so just to finish off what can you go what can you do from now from here you can download evaluation versions of GPO Exporter and GPO Compare from our website and just go to the main website page and under products you'll see links to each of the products and, and you can register for the for the demo versions of the products. If you need help with your group policy cleanup or you're doing a consolidation or a redesign, we actually provide professional services to help you make those decisions. So feel free to visit us at the Group Policy Consulting Services site on our webpage or email us at services at stmsoftware.com and we'd love to be able to talk to you about how we can help make your group policy environment streamlined and manageable and uh, reduce any issues you may be having with it. Thank you very much.